What's going on guys, this is James Watson Jr. and this is going to be Team Deathmatch on Cargo. Um, I'm a little bit late on uploading. I'm going to start sniping. What am I doing? What am I doing? Sniping. Uh, I'm a little late uploading this video. I should have uploaded it yesterday, obviously. And my controller is acting a fucking fool. But anyways, for some reason yesterday, I don't know why... But for some reason yesterday, I just felt like shit all day. So that's why I didn't upload a video. Oh, now you're going to pop out. My controller's getting on my nerves. What the hell? But anyways, I just didn't feel like uploading a video yesterday. So I didn't. I mean, like I said, I don't know why, but I just feel like such crap yesterday that I'm just give up on sniping. I'm just seriously give up on sniping. I'm done. Forget it. I can't do shit. No, the fucked up controller. What is up with these cheap ass controllers not working? I mean, yes, I know, cheap ass controller, but still. Who puts a silencer on a freaking sniper rifle? I said I was done sniping, but yet, yeah, what am I doing? Boom, oh shit. Thank God for fast hands. But, anyways, I didn't feel like uploading a video, so I didn't. I didn't feel like recording it. I didn't feel like doing shit yesterday. Don't ask me why, but I just felt like shit. So I didn't. But today I'm going to go ahead and upload a video. Do this video to make up for it. Um, one of the things I want to talk about is the, another reason why I'm doing this so late in the day. Instead of first thing in the morning uploading a video. And it's because I was busy doing a tattoo. And... Uh, it wasn't just any tattoo. That's why I had to make sure into the tattoo, because it was a special. It's a special tattoo, and the reason it's so special is because my aunt passed away four days ago, and one of her favorite things in the world was butterflies. So I decided to do a butterfly tattoo on my leg, and. Yes, I know it's a butterfly tattoo, and everybody's gonna be like, "Oh, but you're a guy. Guys aren't supposed to have butterfly tattoos." Honestly, to tell the truth, I don't give a shit what anybody thinks about it. It's my tattoo, and I know the reason behind it. And there's a good reason for me having a butterfly tattoo. Anybody that doesn't like it can just kiss my ass. But it's not just a feminine, you know, butterfly tattoo. I tried to, I thought ahead of time and actually, you know, put a a little thought into it, not just, oh, look at this butterfly, let's tattoo it. Because, also, I'm not real good at tattooing. I mean, I'm decent, but I'm not like a professional tattoo artist, you know. So, I'm not going to be expecting to be able to put a t butterfly tattoo on my body with all the detail that you would expect to see in a butterfly tattoo. So, it's a travel tattoo. Yes, I know. It's a tribal butterfly tattoo. Who would have thought such a thing would ever exist? But it does. And the reason I got that is because, one, I'm, I guess you'd say old school. People say it's an, a 90s tattoo thing to get tribal tattoos, but I still see a lot of people getting tribal tattoos to this day, but I guess maybe we're all old school. I like tribal tattoos. And... I've got quite a few travel tattoos myself, and like I said, people don't like it. Well, guess what? Tough shit. I don't care. My tattoos, my body. You don't like it? Don't look at them. Plain and simple. But this aunt that passed away, she was. I didn't have a lot of contact with her over the last few years. Like last few years, as in like ten to fifteen years, probably at least. If not, maybe even longer than that. I really don't even know. That's how long it's been since I've actually had contact with her and spent time with her and all that because we, we all just kind of fell apart and, you know, didn't really stay in contact, unfortunately, because she was one of my favorite aunts. And people say, oh, you know, she's my favorite aunt. She passed away. I'm so sad, you know. People say that a lot, but, I mean, she really was one of my favorite aunts, and I really wish we could have spent more time together. Because she, she is part of the reason why I am the person I am today. And 
it's her and my other aunt that passed away four years ago that I did a tribute tattoo for that are the reason I am the way I am. And that's because they always encouraged me to be myself no matter what, no matter what anybody thought or anybody said, to always be myself and express myself openly and freely. And that's why I loved her so much because she believed in, you know, basically self-expression and all that, which I'm all about self-expression and everything because if I wasn't, I wouldn't be tattooing myself so much and putting some of the tattoos I got on myself because I'd be worried about what people are going to say or think or whatever, but I don't. And it's funny because she wasn't my aunt, she was my great aunt, and she's basically my dad and my uncle's aunt. And it's funny because my uncle, honestly tell you the truth, my uncle I could care less about. I really don't care. I'm civil to him, I'm civil to him because of his wife, my aunt, because I love her to death. She's a wonderful woman. But my uncle himself, if my aunt were to pass away, I'd probably never talk to him again because I have no reason to because he is always so judgmental of me and my self-expression. And so that's why I could care less about him. But it's funny that his aunt is, you know, somebody that basically believed in self-expression and all that and individualism, but yet he himself believes in conforming and being normal and being like everybody else and just like he's all against men having long hair and uh, tattoos and all this other stuff all the stuff that I like he's against like when my aunt passed away four years ago I showed up to her funeral and I was wearing a western button-up shirt uh, blue jeans, you know, obviously, my dress boots, my dress cowboy boots, and I had my mohawk, which was probably about six inches tall, standing up on top of my head, and I had my pants tucked into my cowboy boots. Well, what did my uncle say? He said that I need to stop being so immature, and I need to be more responsible and more respectful, because I'm at a funeral, and I shouldn't be dressing that way. At my aunt's funeral, whose funeral he had no reason to be at because she was no relation to him. She was my mother's sister, not my dad's sister, so therefore my uncle had no reason to be there. But he's going to sit there and criticize me about the way I'm dressed at my aunt's funeral. Well, before I could say or do anything, my mom jumped in because it was her sister's funeral that we were at, and she felt disrespected, and she's really always really never cared for my uncle anyways because the way he's always been towards me. And so she stepped in, and she point blank told him, she's like, look, you know, we're at my sister's funeral, which is, for one, a place that you don't need to be talking to my son like that, because you need to be more respectful yourself. And two, his aunt would have loved the way he's dressed right now, because she encouraged him to dress that way. She encouraged him to express himself, to be individual, to be unique, you know, not to be conforming and, you know be boring like you are and basically she told him point blank that the next time she tr he tries to sit there and criticize me that there was going to be a problem plain and simple so she really stepped up to the plate on that one and defended me which I'm glad she did because for years she kind of I mean she would defend me to an extent but it wouldn't be real like straight up defense defensiveness and all that it was like kind of off to the sidelines defending me thing and so I was real happy that she actually did that and it, it really it really impressed me a lot but anyways my aunt that recently passed away she's she's not going to be buried oh, she's going to be buried but it's not going to be a typical burial is going to be basically where she's getting cremated and the ashes are going to be buried and so there's no hurry to 
do a funeral or memorial or anything like that so we're not you know it's not anytime soon but in like a week and a half or so something like that maybe there's gonna be a memorial and when my cousin found out I was doing a tattoo in honor of her mother she said she couldn't wait to see it so more than likely what I'm gonna try to I'm gonna probably do is I'm probably gonna show up to the funeral or the memorial in shorts showing off all my tattoos since my uncle's probably gonna be there obviously since it's his aunt's funeral but just to aggravate him I'm gonna show up in shorts so I can show off all my tattoos as well as the one that I'm just recently done for my aunt because my cousin's gonna want to see it and I mean I posted a picture of it on Facebook and Instagram but seeing it in person and seeing it on a computer or a phone is a lot different so I'm gonna wear shorts so that way my cousin can see it and everything else you know so that way yeah she gets to see it perfectly clear and also because I just like to annoy and aggravate my uncle because he thinks he's all high and mighty because he retired from the Navy and or whatever and all this other crap and nobody really gives a shit if he retired from the Navy or not I know I don't but um ah, get off me get off me honestly tell you the truth just the fact that he retired from the Navy says a lot about him because you know until recently well while he was in the Navy the Navy was segregated it wasn't male and female and all that so it kinda says a lot about him being in the Navy and willingly spending so much time in the Navy I'm sorry anybody that's watching this right now that if you're in the Navy or you have family that's in the Navy but that's just how I feel about my uncle not everybody but yeah it just kinda says a lot about him because he spent so much time in the Navy willingly and voluntarily when it was nothing but a bunch of men so I just couldn't see myself doing that honestly Ah, you motherfucker. Ah, you son of a bitch. Shoot me in the ass, really? I think that's why I died six times. Damn. Come on, doggies. Do your job. But, um, anyways. Another subject, because I've been rambling on and on about that one, is vaping. I know I've went over it before, but I'm going to go over it again. And the reason I'm going over it again it's because of one reason, one reason only. Do not, I repeat, do not start smoking or quit smoking for vaping and go back to smoking. Because I'll tell you right now, I, I caved, I gave in, I smoked, um, what, three days ago, I think, two or three days ago, I smoked. And when I did, oh my god, it was the most disgusting thing in my life. I don't see how I ever smoked before. I really don't. I'm not saying that just to be like everybody else and say, Oh my god, I can't believe that I ever smoked. It's so disgusting. No, it's not that. It's, it's literally, it was disgusting. I don't know how I ever dealt with it and tolerated it. I guess I just so used to it because they say that once you quit smoking your taste buds will actually change because the nicotine and all the car all the uh, chemicals and all that in, in the cigarettes and everything else will actually change your taste buds so they're saying they say that once you quit your taste buds will go back and stuff will start tasting different and all that so I guess so because when I when I smoked a cigarette the other day Oh my god, it was disgusting, and for about an hour straight, I had this just horrible taste in my mouth, and I could not get the, get rid of that taste in my mouth. No matter what I drank, I mean, I drank, I mean, I didn't have much to drink. I had water, so I drank a lot of water. And I, when I say a lot, I mean a lot. I had like a, I think it was like a 20-ounce Powerade bottle that I drink that I drink water out of now, because I drink a lot of water. And instead of buying bottles of water and all that, I... Uh, just refill my water bottle out of the tap because it tastes the same to me so there ain't no sense in spending the money on bottled waters but um I drank like probably like two or three bottles so I probably drank about 40, or 40 to 60 ounces of water and 
could not, I mean, it wasn't like back to back to back to back, just like gump, 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 drinking water. But still, it was like, you know, pretty close together. You know, it wasn't like hours apart that I was drinking it. You know, I drank it pretty quickly. And I could not get that taste out of my mouth. And it just, my aim is way the fuck off. But, uh, it was just disgusting. And, yeah. And it's weird saying disgusting. I don't usually say words like disgusting. Because usually nothing disgusts me. So, I usually don't say that word. Where the hell is this? Oh, there he is. Come on, dude. Where you at? Come around the corner. Yep. I'll let you walk into my crosshairs. I'll let you walk into my reticle. Oh, shit. Shit. Get up. What the hell? Why was I crawling? Okay, respawn. Let's go. What is up with my controller? Anyways, this is game over. Hey, this is game over. Come at me, bro. Or maybe not. Don't come at me. I'm shooting like shit today. Don't come at me, bro. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, I'm way off, homie. Oh, yeah. It's payback time, boy. Payback time, boy. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Give me that shotgun. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get off me. Come on, Warthog. Do some damage. Do some good. Come on. Come on, Warthog. Look at this idiot trying to shoot the Warthog down. Get out of here. Really, Warthog? You suck. You killed, like, seven people. Who are you shooting at, fool? Get off me. Get off me. Alright. I gotta get a, I gotta get a grenade kill. That's what I'm gonna do. It's probably gonna take me a while because I wanna get a stick. See if I can stick this guy. Nope. Kill me. I wanna get a, I wanna get a random stick. Oh shit. Stuck him. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Anyways, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, don't forget to leave a like and a favorite and also comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the video or just to say, hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at James D. Watson Jr. on both of those. And other than that, guys, have a good one.